books. Why did you bring my slipper to our studio? That's my slipper. Oh, are you sleepy? Give me my slipper. Hello everybody. Hi, this is Mrs. Yoon from J Art Studio. Today we're gonna draw and paint about a bridge over a pond. Okay, so we're gonna create a bridge with a scotch tape or the masking tape. So these are the things that you're gonna collect from home. First of all, you need a tape. Any types of tape is good. And then cup of water because we're gonna do watercolor. And uh, if you can find some watercolor paints, that is good. And you need some other small types of brushes and the uh, towel for the wiping uh, paint and the water. And you need a pencil and eraser. You need a, uh, this is a Crayola crayon. Uh, and also if you can find some oil pastel. Now I'm going to show you what the difference between oil pastel and crayons. Okay. Oil pastel. Okay, mostly it's contain oil, so it's a definitely water resistant and they are a lot softer. Okay, and then Crayola crayon has a wax in it. They are also water resistant, but they are a little hard. Okay, so we can combine it together and using it and uh, then it will uh, look a lot brighter and uh, uh, cleaner kind of looking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you first. Start with the uh, tape. Since we're gonna creating a bridge, uh, the bridge thickness could be the tape thickness. Okay, uh, you can also use just scotch tape, but uh, um, since it doesn't show you, I'm gonna use a uh, masking tape to show where the bridge is gonna be. Okay, so first of all, you can estimate and draw uh, about bridge right here. So I'm gonna make it curve a little bit like this. Okay and just the one line is fine so i'm gonna go ahead and put the tape on it one thing that you want to watch out if it's too sticky uh, to avoid to tearing up after untape it best way to do is put some oil on your hand arms get some little less of a sticky okay then and stick it on all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the curve a little bit taping down like a curve because okay. the tape doesn't stretch so I'm gonna make a little curve like this okay everybody got it all right now I'm gonna cut uh, I put the scissor actually wait a minute oh yes we need a scissor and then I'm gonna create a top of a bridge so I'm going to create another line going like that and again this uh, tape will be very sticky then I'm going to make it less stickier All right, first of all, who's walking across of a bridge that you can go ahead and draw right now, okay? So I'm going to draw a little girl or a little boy and looking down.
like that. And then you can go ahead and color it with a crayon. shapes and lines you can draw curly lines and you can draw uh, straight lines and do some fun with the crayons and all pastel and a pink okay so lots lots going on okay now I'm gonna use a uh, white down here is a pond so I'm gonna give a little bit of uh, lights on the water by using white or pastel. Okay, so go ahead and horizon, draw the horizon line like that. Now I'm gonna start painting. I'm making a little darker green and painting the shadow areas. Sorry, my palette is not showing, but I'm adding a darker blue to green, make it darker green. And if you want to make it more darker, 
then you can even add a purple to green and make a darker green. More darker, adding a more purple onto green. And uh, put some shadow under the bridge. And I'm making a darker on this side too. So start off with a green, add a blue, make a darker green there. And more darker by adding more blue and purple, you can make it a lot darker. And uh, more darker for the shadow areas. Now I'm gonna paint the under the shadow of the lily pad. some texture of leaves okay all done you take a tape off after dry okay so let it dry 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 hello so now i'm gonna take a tape off and see how that look. Carefully take a tape off, okay? There you go. Now you have a bridge over the pond. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.